Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Actually, there's a big combo then, sorry. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well. Um, welcome to another week vlog, which I don't know who I think I am at the minute. Mary Berry take two. But we're doing a lot of baking and stuff, aren't we? We are. And today we've decided we're going to make bread. And something else. Oh no, Ashley's making a pie, but we're making, um, we're both going to make some bread. We're at Ashley's house now. Um, so yeah, if you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see what we'll get up to this week. So, we need 500 grams of um, strong white bread, which I think, oh, it even tells you how to do it on here. We do not need to be... You've got to leave it in like a warm room temperature but the sun's out so we might as well put it on the garden i'm thinking let the dough rise figgy please don't right stunning lovely job right good so job fig how long did it say for half an hour right so we've just got it in from the garden not sure if that's the vibe but it's definitely risen but we're running out of time now so Oh look, it's not even stuck to the bowl. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that was a good one. So now we need to knead it again. <gasps> so fluffy! It looks really good. Knead it again and shape it. I want mine to be like a, a round bloomer. You do as well, don't you? Yeah, with like a little um, triangle. Like... Oh, you're doing a proper bloomer. Yeah. Oh, that sounds fun. Right. Like how they serve in the farmers. Yeah. Oh, it's so stretchy. Oh, this feels so good. <laughs> I might have actually managed to do this. It only said to knock the air out of it. Do you think we actually need to do all of this? Mm -mm. If any bread makers want to teach us. I See, I might bread. leave mine like that, you know. Because it well, says- I like this, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Why yeah. do you like that? Because, like, when they make sourdough, they do this ear and you slit it like this and then it's like how big you can get the ear. Right, okay. So this is Ashley's, which looks really, really good. Mine, why does mine not look like that? Right, should we score it? Yeah. Maybe yours might come up like better than mine that's just quite rough. So what? Well, you could go across like three yeah or you could go one two three four five six like a so go like a pizza how deep do you go into just it just gentle it'll split itself love it the concentration Beautiful. So we're just proving. I'm taking mine with me because it's nearly milk. Well, it's not nearly milking time, but we're going to the horses. Oh, I need that pink bag. And then back to the farm. So take this, and I'm gonna have to cook it at the farm. I think again, we need bread advice. Yeah, if any like bakers out there actually want to teach us how to make bread, especially sourdough. Yeah, we kind of want to go at sourdough, but I think we should master this one first. But I want to know is, when you're proving your bread, it says to do it for an hour. Can I do it for longer than an hour? Because that would be easier, wouldn't it? Yeah, do these things matter? Like yeah, how much, does, yeah, does it matter if it's an hour or could I leave it like four hours before I cook it? Because if, it, if it's an hour, I'm going to have to put it in the oven whilst I milk. <laughs> Post-winter scrub. <laughs> Post -winter scrub. Well, Bath time. Yeah. Like, surely not 
The bubbles make a good effect. <laughs> Time now, so I've come to the farm. I'm just gonna put it in the oven at the farm, and looks massive now. Let's have a look. Right, so I've left it in the oven. I'm just gonna come and start milking, and then it only has to be in there for like 25 30 minutes. So I'll run back and check it because I don't want it to burn. Meg is in there at the minute, and Christine's around so they're not gonna let it burn but i'll run back in and see what it looks like in a bit i'm excited i hope it's gonna taste good This is so good. I'm well happy with it. I'm going to give Alex a bit. Hi, Alice. Ooh, just coming in. Ooh, I'm going to try my bread. Half that with Alex. This is crust. Half this with Alex. How good's that? You can have crust if you want. Do you want to half it? Or is that what you want it all? It's alright. <laughs> see I'm in my dressing room which is an absolute mess I know but I'm just getting ready for a modeling casting and then I'm in Manchester for the rest of the day because I'm then at Boohoo so I thought I'd quickly get ready with you and show you how I get ready for the modeling casting so I'm starting off with my SPF 50 it's a good like um base layer for the makeup and it's good for your skin Right, I might as well speed it up because I've done like a full makeup tutorial a bit ago. And it's more or less the same, not gonna lie. 
in fact maybe i should quickly put a roller in my hair first so <clears throat> this is the best stuff in the world i'm not even kidding if you've got flat hair or if you're trying to make it get a bit of volume like i do now that i've got no hair this stuff is brilliant i got myself one of these big brushes just dry that out put a roller in and we're good to go can you see the difference already honestly unreal so what i would normally do then is just find my fringe which and that feels like it's got a bit of product in it do it like this with my wand I'm going to wrap it in a curler in a roller rather to keep it do that do that do that i'll pin it back here with a clip and then i'll leave my fringe like that for as long as i can i'll probably drive to manchester with it in so it doesn't drop out and then i'll curl the rest of my hair in a minute but because it doesn't stay i'm gonna leave that till the last thing i haven't used this in ages but it is really good it's the ysl um blur primer i'm running out still with my og foundation damp beauty blender in ages. I'll go in with two concealers. Hey. <clears throat> Alright, I'm just going in with some cream bronzer, which I use the um, Chanel one, which I really, really like. A bit of blush, which is actually the lipstick, but I don't know why I've started using well, say starting, I've been using it for ages because I'm nearly out of the lipstick, but I like that. Alright, love you bye. Love you bye. Run that in. And then I'm gonna go in and just quickly do my brows. I had the Laura Mercier um setting powder with a little triangle poof to make it angled the way that you want it I feel weird wearing this much makeup honestly pat that in like so and then I might just go in with a bit of um Dior can you see that there Dior blush just to make your cheek extra rosy just powder as well now that i've gone over with my setting stuff right, i'm actually in a rush now so a bit of lip stuff a really cheap one from um yeah uh what's it called primark oh, I just put chapstick in the middle because i'm obsessed with chapstick Now I just look like an egg. I need to quickly curl my hair, which I'm gonna top tip for thin hair. Or hair that doesn't stay rather, because with your extensions, everything stays so well. So I just put a bit of hairspray in before curling to give it that bit of help. And then we're gonna go in here and just set two. Um, face setting spray, the um, Charlotte Tilbury. Flip 
Luckily, I don't have uh, mascara on right now, but she's in a rush. So I'm going to get changed and then I'll speak to in the car. So what I was trying to say when I'm getting ready is I've got a casting, a modelling casting today in Manchester. So that's why I was getting my makeup done. So a casting is basically a job interview um, and you have to go ready. So they've, they've, they've given you like um, a soft, for me, it was a soft glam natural hair sort of look which doesn't mean not a lot it's hard to explain so when you're behind the camera you actually need more makeup on than you think like now that i'm outside in the sun it doesn't look like i've got loads of makeup you, you can obviously tell i've got makeup on but it doesn't look like i'm caked in it sorry my car makes that noise unless i get over a certain speed there we go um so yes so i'm on my way there now obviously i'm late always late to these things so hopefully i'll get there and i'll have a bit of time to spare the casting itself won't actually take that long from previous experience i'm hoping it won't take that long because then straight after my casting i'm then going to boohoo for the day um so yeah but the sun's out and it's so nice and it's one of them when the day's like this i just wish i was at home I'm not going to manchester i'm not gonna lie so I thought whilst I'm on my way to a modelling casting, I'll explain to you. I get a lot of questions about how I got into modelling. So I got into modelling because a very good friend of mine, Ellie, she was like, you know what you should do? You should do um, some plus side modelling. And I was a bit like, come on, what are you on about? I was like this um, farm girl from, you know, Lancashire who had no not no confidence that's the wrong word that, that honestly that was the last thing on my mind i was more a i want to say tomboy i still am a tomboy to be honest with you it's like i like to get dressed up but most of the time i'm not um anyway the whole thing to me was a bit like don't be silly anyway she sent in my pictures and to this um agent who is still my agent to this day um and maddie my agent got back in touch with me and was like will you come and meet me in manchester i'd like to meet you i met up with her and she signed me there and then so and ever since i've been with her agency i've since also had an agency in london um i'm not actually with them anymore because they weren't getting me that that many jobs and the jobs that they were getting me were all in london which and a lot of like fast fashion is actually in manchester so it didn't really make much sense for me to go down to london for these castings that it just wasn't for me so we maddie helped me we came out of the london agency and i'm just with her now in manchester which i do travel like sometimes she'll send me to a job in london and that's fine um but anyway so that's how i got into it so for those who ask about tips of how they can get into it basically if you want to become a model you want to get into it then you need a portfolio of pictures I didn't actually have one to start with but i built up and got one so the best way to do that is just to find a good photographer in your area and get your basic pictures um they will photographers are very good at guiding you on what you should and shouldn't have so they will give you a lot of information um you need some polaroids which is just basically fresh skin fresh hair in an all black or you know in a good fitted outfit like skinny jeans and a vest top or i'm in like a jumpsuit today um that sort of vibe so it can show off your body shape um and just, yeah just take some like normal non-posy pictures for that and then you'll also want if you're wanting to go down like the um e-com like plt boohoo that sort of thing then you'll need some pictures that they want again take inspiration off the website you'll get a lot of help from that sort of thing um bridal you know you can just take pictures based on what you want to model so if you if you're happy doing swimwear or lingerie then do a swimwear or lingerie and um, think for your portfolio so that again they want to see your body so you need to be able to show your shape be confident um do lots of practicing and then apply to agencies once you've got these pictures so when you apply to your agencies if they then say oh yeah we want to sign you but you need to pay da -da -da -da, it's a scam don't pay any money agencies not ask you to pay money to join so don't be doing any of that um what else can i tell you that's it really and have fun with it be confident also be thick-skinned don't if you if you get easily offended modeling is not the job for you because if they don't want you they don't want you and it's not someone even like reply to you or if you go for a job like 
today if I don't get this cast in I probably just won't hear from them it's not like they'll then call me and be like oh we're really sorry like you looked great but you're not for us at the minute none of that it's just no don't want you it's very cutthroat which to me I prefer that because it's very like oh I didn't get it they didn't want me it's not because I'm not good enough or I'm not pretty enough or I don't you know I've not got the, the nicest body shape it's none of that it's just because you're not right for what they want at the time six months time might come down the line and they'll think oh actually this blonde girl that we had in a bit back we could do with her now so you've got to be tough skinned don't be don't be easily offended because if you are honestly this job is not for you don't change who you are for what they want because again you might not be right for them but you'll be right for someone else so that's all I can tell you and I've rambled on for a long time now so I'm going to carry on and go to Manchester I'm going to see if I can take you into my casting I'm not sure if I'll be able to or not um, and then I'm off to Boohoo but yeah and then see you in a bit, bye! Well I've been in and out, it was that fast I didn't film it because it was that fast um, anyway so I've paid for two hours parking on my parking thing because that was just the first thing that came up. So I've got loads of time. Well, I've got about an hour because I have to go to Boohoo. So I thought, might as well find a nice cafe somewhere. So I'm on the hunt. All looks pretty quiet though. Right, I never went for lunch in the end because I thought I'm not even that hungry. So it's a bit of a waste of money. So I'm parked up, I'm ready to go to Boohoo now. I'm gonna run in there. I really hope I'm done for like four or five because if I can get back and ride or do something, then that would be great. Um, yeah, if you've got any more questions about um, modeling, just uh, give me a message and I'll try and help you as much as I can. Um, and yeah, let's go to Boohoo. Me and Ashley have just arrived in, where are we? Norfolk. Norfolk. And we've come to look at the tulip fields and we are so excited, aren't we? Yeah, they're right in front of us. They're right in front of us. Um, morning. <gasps> wow. Cute. Then, Lost him. It belongs to two ladies called Liz and Sarah Morris. Right. And they set it off 15 years ago because one of their dogs um, couldn't have treats because she had a dicky tummy. All right. So... Uh, they started in their kitchen making a few treats and it's just Blown expanded. Up. No way. Yeah. Ooh, duck crunch. So I saw the pheasant jerky here. I feel like that would be a um, pheasant jerky. A big favourite. Yeah, we don't actually make those ones. We do buy them in. It's um, basically all the like stick range. Yeah. Um, and all the bones. You make is, all of them. Is what we make on site. No way. And where can you buy them? Where do you sell them at? Everywhere. Everywhere. Online. So if I typed them in online, I could yeah. find them online and buy them from yeah. there. Yeah. If I try to bring up the... Oh, it's freezing, isn't it? What are they? Fisholatas. <laughs> Fisholatas. What are these in the boxes? Oh, pick and mix. Well, pig and mix. Oh, pig and mix. Not pick and mix. Love that. Oh, that's cool. Very cool. Oh, yak bars. What's a yaki bar? Um, made from yak milk. Pig's favourite. Really? Yeah, and if you put them in the microwave, they blow up. Jeez. Are you picking which you're going to buy? Yeah. I want something, I want oh, something that's going to keep her busy. I was going to say, they'll last her. Will that last? Yeah. yeah I've got a very busy spaniel. It's a worker, and she's busy working. <laughs> oh, cheese bones. Oh, these look good as well, these fish bites, but I feel like she's crunching them. They're just fish skin. They're fish. 
That's what... oh, go on, show us what you've got for Fig. So I've got something to keep her busy because Natural. she's a busy, busy girl. And then you're getting and some. Then Apparently the know. cheese bones are the best sellers of the bones. Yeah. And they've overtaken the beef ones at the minute. So we're on cheese. We're on cheese. Sporting in the dairy girls. That's what we like. Yeah. <laughs> We've got everything. Steak and kidney. Yeah, I'm getting Bella and Russell the pig and mix. And then the other best seller was the venison, was it? Mm -hmm. I might as well take one of them as well for them. And then the venison sticks, which the deer that you call at Sandringham, is that right? Yes. That's the meat that's used into these. Yes. We don't personally call them. No. But Sandringham. Yeah, they call the, yeah. And we use their meat. And here they are. Ready to go home. They are the, probably the most popular ever. Literally. So, yeah. Royal. Love it. Well, I don't love it, but I must still love it. <laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday morning. Um, so yesterday I went to the tulip farm and I've been given so many tulips. So I'm just going to vase them up. I'm actually going to give a few to like Meg, Alex, Christine. I gave a, a bunch to Anna last night because we went out for tea with her. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to bunch the remainder um look at them excuse that i need to wash up but it's so pretty um so yeah let's get bunching up some flowers Christine a bunch, Alex a bunch, and then I've got another bunch here, which I don't know if I'm seeing Susie or not this weekend, but she could have them. And then these ones are the ones that were on the bulbs, which I'm going to actually plant in soil because they'll come back again next year. So yeah, but I've got so many flowers, <laughs> which I just love. But these are so pretty, so I'm going to give these, give these to the others. So also yesterday at the tulip place, it's in the same area and Emma who showed us around the tulips um, and helped organise that whole trip. Um, she also works for a company called Pooches, which is like um, a dog making, a dog treat. Oh, Christ, why can't I speak? Handmade dog treats, right? So I've got a few for the dogs. How cute are these? Pig and mix, love that. So there's all like um, pig sort of uh, products in there. We've got venison six here, um, which I think I have put the clips of when we went, when we visited there in this vlog as well. So you'll understand where I'm at. Um, so yeah, let's give the dog a for these. So I'm bringing, Meg wanted a loaf of bread, which I've made her, and obviously the flowers, I've just got to the farm now, so I'm going to drop them off. Um, Have you come to meet the lamb? Kitty! So if you watched my vlog the other day, um, a week, an, another week vlog, I showed you Alex's sheep, which <laughs> very questionable looking, they look a bit rough, but anyway, we move past that, the... <laughs> 
the comments that people were making on them was hilarious. Oh, my voice. Um, anyway, I think it's Badger. Badger has had her lamb. She's had one lamb. It's doing well. And Freddie has named it Joe. No idea where that's come from. Joe the lamb, it's not really got much of a ring to it, but hey, we're sticking with it. And I've only seen pictures of it because I wasn't here yesterday when it lambed. I was at the tulip farm. So, oh, I've come to find him and have a look. Here they are. So she has actually separated them. Oh, the other two are off. Look at badger. Oh, it's got, <laughs> it's got a jacket on. Of course it has. It's Alex's sheep. Oh, my God. Well, you little cutie, look at you. Good girl. I want to get near her, but I don't want to stress her out. <laughs> Here he is, little Joe. <laughs> I don't know why I find it so funny, but I do. Oh, for God's sake. You all right there, little one? Your little jacket on? Very cute, aren't you? You're a good girl, Badger. Oh, he's gonna go and have a suckle now. Yes, I think you're due your baby soon, aren't you? Maple? Maple's next to you. She said that she was really bagged up. Oh, she is bagged up. So that's why she separated her, because she's wanting to pinch little Joe off Badger, so. Yeah. Should have another lamb or two next. That's so funny. I don't know why it's funny, but it is funny. Good girl, Waggles. You'll get to meet him soon. Yes, you will. I know you love babies, don't you? You love babies. Hi. Oh, Bella. In the bin? Yeah. Have you seen the lamb? Yeah. What have you named him? Come on, dogs. Right, come on. <laughs> You're being silly, isn't she? Yeah. What have you named the lamb, Freddie? Yeah. What have you named him? Was it Joe? Joe. No. Joe. <laughs> Where's Joe come from? I don't know. I know that. Yeah. You getting on the tractor? Yeah. Just right, see you later. Bye. 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 A rabbit. Beth has found a rabbit and fetched it to us. Anyway, it it's wet, but it doesn't doesn't look damaged. And it's only tiny. Well, saying it's a rabbit, we don't have rabbits here. We literally never see rabbits. We've got hares. So we're gonna go and gonna go find its little burrow and put it back. It's so cute. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Poor thing. Found in the rabbit hole. Do you know where it is? There she is, the little rabbit snatcher. <laughs> Can you see it's hat? Oh, that's nice. Give it a stroke. Ah. Is it fluffy? Yeah. yeah. It's a fluffy bunny. Just put it down there. Is that its hole? Yeah. Is it's a little house. Worm. Worm, yeah. <laughs> two, one, two. How many is in there? How many is in there then? That's all. Did I look? You have a look. Yeah. Might need a torch. I know. They're all sleeping in there. I don't know if you can see them or not. Can you see them, Freddie? So they'll be safe now, won't they, from Bess? Yeah. Just put that pipe there and then the... We're thinking it's a hair. The hair will get in, but hopefully Bess won't. But yeah. So cute. I've never seen that before. No? Oh yeah. Oh, look at him under the hedge. Cute.
Oh, yeah. And marshmallows, we've got a doggy biscuit. That's it. That's it. You little monkey. Oh, yeah, he, he doesn't like gravy bones. <laughs> he does that at the farm as well. Christine gets some of them. Mmm. Hot chucky. So we've come to London, we're going out for some lunch and we're meeting Jack and Mal, our friends, and we've only got one lead. So Wags, where's she at? Wags needs a lead. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's, I think that's a cat toy, Bella. Should we find the dog ones? Should we find them all? Come on Uh, any. Not really bothered. Is there a brown one or something? No. Oh, you're right. She wants a ball. Oh, she's a big one. She picked one up. She picked one? Hold on. Uh, it's going to be dark. You're right, Oh. Oh, that she'd already picked it. <laughs> I said to her, let's go get a ball. You don't want to touch, she's had it. Good day for Bella. Yeah, very good day. <laughs> so, Sunday morning, we're off for a bike ride. I'm just charging up my bike and waiting for my bloomer. How many loaves of bread have I made this week, love? We'll be putting Warburton's out of business. This kitchen's better than today, it? It does smell like spring. Feels like it, finally. I need some butter for when my bloomer's done. <laughs> this is not even a brunch anymore, love. This is like a late lunch. I know. So, we're getting... Some, oh, should we get some orange juice? Oh no, I've already paid. I've already paid. So you pay through the QR code, which is handy if you've not got any cash. Sam's got a coffee. You got the butter. Oh. Yeah, thanks, Richard. <laughs> Are you watching? <laughs> Imagine if he was. I promise you we paid. <laughs> no, I paid. <laughs> Insert receipt here. We definitely paid. Yeah, cute. Right, let's go. Oh, are we having a sit? I'm drinking coffee. All right. Oh. No coffee at home. Oh, for not. I can't cycle with that, man. There she is. Do some scrambled eggs, avocado on probably bread, to be honest. I don't want to toast it because it's going to be nice and warm. Oh, that good on it. Thingy, but it's hella good. We've had to come out again because Bella won't shut up. Well, we were coming out anyway, weren't we? We were going to go and do Nicky Nook, but we've decided... Because we can't take Bella up Nicky Nook. Because it's too hard for her. Um, so we thought, right, well, we'll just walk around home. There's loads of fields with um, footpaths through, so we're doing that. But yeah, bloody hell. She won't shut up. 
She's having a rest out. Oh. Every time you speak, she gets up. You're silly. Good boy. On a Sunday, we just do a quick teeth check, see what's going on in here, actually. So, top deck's looking good, actually. <laughs> we're all back. We're just, we're, wiggles. we're just struggling on the bottom deck here, actually. We're, we're not so many left. <laughs> <laughs> She's fine. There's not so many left here, actually. <laughs> she likes to eat her rocks. They look smooth, them. We ground them down. <laughs> Oh, bless you! Oh, bless you! Uh. <laughs> he does that every time. To the farm shop. It's literally taken us like less than ten minutes on it yeah. to get it. Gonna get some bits of tea. Um, Sam wanted to make some. Are we making chicken tenders? It's gonna close. Oh yeah. We need to be quick. It's about to close. But yeah, chicken tenders. What else do you want? <laughs> I love this new active thing that we've got going on. Love. We never use the car now on the weekend. Oh, yeah. well, I brought my rucksack to the shop now. Oh, hi! So we've got the tea ingredients and Sam's going to try and make some buttered chicken. Is it? Yeah, tender chicken. What do you call it? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders, that's it. And then with some sweet potato wedges, we've also got some prawns in the fridge, so we're going to do like a garlic um, prawns. And yeah, I'm actually gonna go and sit down and upload this vlog. So I'll let Sam do the rest. Yeah, so I'm gonna edit and upload this vlog. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it guys. If you haven't done already, please don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.